This video will guide you through the process of creating and deploying your own template library within Factory Talk Optic Studio. While Factory Talk Optic Studio comes with some built in template libraries, there may be instances where you need to create your own custom libraries to suit your project requirements. Let's begin by exploring the native template libraries. To access these libraries, simply click on the template libraries icon to display the list of available options. Choose your desired library and drag it into your project to start utilizing it. A library is a custom object created by the user, which can contain multiple objects such as rectangles, labels, buttons, net logic components, and more. Utilizing a library not only enables you to meet your specific requirements, but also allows for easy deployment across various projects and locations. Factory Talk Optics offers the option to create libraries either locally on your computer or remotely on GitHub. Let's start by creating a local library that includes a native object called Panel Loader and a runtime NetLogic associated with it. This new library will provide users with a convenient way to navigate panels backward or forward during the runtime mode. The panel loader object will be responsible for loading and managing panels, while the runtime net logic will handle the logic for navigating between panels. Let's add a native object called panel loader below the main window and modify its size and layout. Next, add a runtime net logic for the panel loader and give it a new name. Finally, open the net logic to write the C -sharp code. In order to save time, I would like to simply copy and paste the C -sharp code. Build the code to ensure no compile errors. At this moment, you don't need to fully understand the coding logic, but I prefer to briefly show you the two exported methods defined in this net logic, as we will be using them during the library deployment. This method takes care of backward panel navigation and is usually bound to a button during a runtime. This method does the opposite by being responsible for forward navigation. As of this moment, the navigation panel loader is ready for use, but we would like to convert it to a library so that we can deploy it across projects. To create a library, we need to launch the template libraries window. Select the plus sign and you'll see two options, new library to create a local library and new remote library to create a library in GitHub. Let's create a local library first. Give it a new name. Now drag the navigation panel loader and drop it into the component pane. At the bottom, add a description for your new library. After creating a local library, you'll be able to see it in this folder. Essentially, it functions as a FT Optics project. When it's located in this folder, it becomes visible to all FT Optics projects on the same computer. However, if you want to use it in a project on a different computer, you'll need to manually copy it to the corresponding location on that computer. Now let's create a remote library in GitHub. Before using this feature, make sure that you have the appropriate entitlement by signing into your factory talk hub. Next, create a repository in GitHub and copy its HTTPS URL for later use. Once you have acquired your entitlement from Factory Talk Hub, click on the plus sign again and select New Remote Library. In the pop-up window, paste the URL of your GitHub repository and click OK. Next, 
Drag and drop the navigation panel loader component into the component pane, and remember to add a description for it. Now you can push it to GitHub by clicking on the appropriate icon. Enter your commit message and select OK. Please wait a few moments for the push to complete. Once done, the library should now be in the designated repository. Finally, let's deploy the remote library on another computer. Here are the steps to complete the deployment and apply it to a new project. First, download the library from your GitHub repository. Go to the download folder and unzip the file. Drill down and copy this folder to the designated library location. One thing to note here is that when you download a project from GitHub, your repository's GitHub branch name is added to your project name by default. Look at this folder name. The main is the branch name, so we need to remove it, including the hyphen. If there are any Factory Talk Optics Studio projects that are open right now, you must close them. Otherwise, the library won't show up in the template library list. Now let's open a different Factory Talk Optics project that was just partially finished. We are going to apply the new library to this project. To get started with the library, launch the template library window and you'll see the new library listed. Select it and drag its component, then drop it below the main window folder in the project. Next, we need to configure the existing project to ensure the library works as needed. In the header page, there are two arrow buttons that are used to navigate the panels either backward or forward. We need to link them with the two methods defined in the library's NetLogic. Make sure to carefully follow the configuration steps if you are not familiar with this procedure. Now it's time to test the application. Let's launch the emulator and begin by opening some panels to test the backward and forward navigation functions. After testing, it appears that everything is working as expected. Creating your own library in Factory Talk Optics brings many benefits. It allows you to meet your specific project needs and deploy it to different projects across computers, which speeds up project development from the perspective of code reuse. Additionally, it can be easily shared with internal or external teams. Congratulations on reaching this point. Now let your creativity shine as you start creating your first library.